Good morning. It's Christmas Adam, as my kids like to say, <laughs> the day before Christmas Eve. We got a little snow last night. It's not very, oh, here. It's not very much, just a skiff. Actually, I think that was this morning, but um, I don't think we're gonna have much more than that by Christmas day, which is fine. It is what it is, right? Because what else are you gonna do about it? Um, today, I should get my grocery order, should be delivered soon, so then I can put things away. And I have a couple of errands to run. I need to drive some things over to my daughter, Aria, and I want to go stop at Gardner Village. I think I've talked about Gardner Village before, at least on the podcast, but it's just a cute little shopping area um, that's built in um, historic, little historic homes that have been, yeah, moved into like a change into like a shopping area and there's an old mill there and um some things like that so it's just cute there's a cute yarn store there called willow hill and um there's a little toy store and that is what i want to go stop by because i realized i haven't gotten anything to put in my grandson's stocking so what was the point of making the stocking if I'm not going to put something in it, right? <laughs> so I want to go find something there. I also haven't purchased a first Christmas ornament for him. And I hadn't really thought about that. And I was thinking that while my mother-in-law was still with us, she was the one who always bought the um, baby's first ornament and I didn't start buying them until after she had passed away. Well, I guess, well, she had, she had dementia and early set Alzheimer's, early onset Alzheimer's. <clears throat> and so it was after that, that I, I bought the, the ornaments for my younger two, but she did it for my older two and for <clears throat> my niece and my nephew. <clears throat> anyway. So I hadn't really thought of that. It's a grandma thing to do. And I don't think my daughter has purchased one. So I'm going to get one for him and, or at least look for one. And then after that, we just need to do some tidying up. And I thought maybe I would get out a Christmas puzzle, do a puzzle today. Um, we don't have a ton else going on and I have finished Richard's socks. So that is great. So that means there is literally nothing else knitting that I have to get done for Christmas. <laughs> so that's good. I have my sweater and my cowl on the needles, but they can sit for a little bit. So I think I will, yeah, do a puzzle today. I'd also like to listen to the Messiah today. I love that. I have listened to it once already this, mor this morning, this month. And um, I think I will listen to it again. I love, there is a an album, it's on Spotify. And I think it's like the Ontario Symphony Orchestra. I could be wrong about that. I know it's Canada, it's Canadian. Um, but Kathleen Battle is the soprano soloist and she's phenomenal. So I think I will listen to that one. I also love the one by the Tabernacle Choir but I really love Kathleen Battle as the soloist. So yeah, so those are kind of the things I'm thinking about today. Um, at Gardner Village, they do um, little, uh, they have elves on display. Sorry, I know I'm being very shaky with this. They have elves on display there. And so um, when we go over there, I'll, I'll try and get some video of that. But I'm looking forward to today. It should be a nice one. All right, I'm gonna open up my advent calendar and Richard is doing some dishes in the background. So there'll be a little bit of noise there, which is totally fine. Happy to have him doing dishes. Let's see if I can keep, keep my phone in the right spot. There we go. <laughs> okay, this is third to the last day. 
So I've got this little Santa. He reminds me of the ghost of Christmas present. This kind of Saint Nick style. Anyway, I love it. Cute, cute. Yeah, as Richard says, we don't want to disturb the good things happening in the kitchen right now. <laughs> Let's see what we've got. That's a fun one. Look at that. I really do like this eggplant color. It's looking kind of brown in the camera. It really isn't in person. It's a very pretty purpley color. Speckly. Very fun. Let's see. Got my quarter. I've started storing this quarter right here in the window so, so I can keep track of it. And let's see what that color is. Hopefully it's not too wiggly. Splash of wine. Most of these have made lots of sense to me in the Christmas cooking, which is the theme of this. The bit of everything I'm not quite sure of and the, and the uh, handmade garlands, that was the other one I wasn't quite sure of. I think that handmade garlands must have been like a popcorn cranberry inspired one. Anyway, but yeah, splash of wine is the colorway. Very fun. And then I have an extra here. Let's see the last. Well, yesterday I got a sticker, but the day before that was the uh, tea strainer. I wonder if this is going to be a mug. I don't know. I just like, I like guessing. That's a cute little box. Look at that. It is. Oh, it's a cute one too. Look how darling. Okay, now we're making lots of noise. <laughs> That's a really cute one. I definitely need to use that today. Oh, and it matches the box. I love it. And I'm just looking, tell me, dishwasher safe, yes. That is darling. So I've been making a hot chocolate with almond milk and cream and cocoa and tiny, tiny bit of salt and using Swerve as my sweetener. And then I use some sugar-free whipped cream sometimes on the top, a little bit of cinnamon. Very yummy and very low carb. It's like, I think it's like two net carbs for a whole cup. So it's great. So I think I will have to have a cup of hot chocolate later today. That's so cute. Very fun, lovely, wintry day. And Isaac doesn't go into work until later this afternoon. So Isaac and Abby and I think Richard are all gonna come with me to go do those errands. So I think that'll be fun. Anyway, I'm gonna label my skein. I've been writing down the number and the, the date. Not the countdown number, but like today I'm writing 23 on this one and the name on the tags, which I like because then in the future, now that they're all kind of in this bag, you know, I've got my bag. Oh, look how full it is. It's stuffed full of yarn. Anyway, now that I've got that, um, I'm gonna see if I can find that handmade garlands one. Is it this one? Yes, this was the handmade garlands. What do you think? Do you think that's a cranberry? Popcorn, I mean, like, is that the butter of the pop? I don't know. Because the next day I had the dried citrus, which is what I kind of thought it might be dried citrus and cranberries for the handmade garlands. But it's gonna be food related, so tell me what you think. Anyway, I have all these beautiful colorways in here, and they are very, very Christmassy which um, not all advent calendars are, you know, they're all a lot of Christmas colors in here. So 
um, a wintry colors. I think maybe that's a better way to say it. So I want to find something I can do with these together. I'm guessing it's gonna end up being a crochet blanket, but I'm not quite sure yet. Anyway, all right. Here, we're gonna get a story, storybook neck. Right here. You found you found what you wanted, Isaac. Yes. Calico critters, do you have? Do you remember? Um, I don't have any of them that are here. They're very cute. Have a lot of oh, you have bunnies? I have some like bunnies. a little bunny family, like that? Kind of. I have some bunnies. I have a koala family. I have tiny baby kittens. <laughs> I have a bunch of like furniture and stuff. That's fun. So, what are they, Abby? They're biscuit. Which one do you, you have one of these, don't you? I have one that's like, it's bedtime with Biscuit. <laughs> Abby's nickname is Biscuit. Well, her pet name from dad yeah. is Biscuit. That's really fun. And then of course there's Curious George. And Curious George is Isaac's favorite thing in the world. I found this book. Okay. And it's it says like things that flat. go? Yeah, so what goes fast when someone needs help and then you pull down the flap. What is that? <laughs> anyway, so that's one of the options for Adam. Huh? And then I just found him a fun, like, grabby, chewy toy as well. So which one do you like better for him? Well, I think for him, he would like this one better. This one better? Right now. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Okay. His dad would love that one, though. Yeah, he would. Okay, we'll do this one for Adam. All for right. Okay. Excellent. That was an Ecuador flag? Nice. And then Abby is in the telephone box. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. I think we already have. We have the gingerbread house one. And we have this one, Santa's workshop. Maybe I'll get that one. Um, it's a thousand pieces. I don't want a thousand piece puzzle. I like 500 piece puzzles. All right, we finished at Gardner Village. It's cold and kind of half rain, half snow. We didn't do all the elves or anything, but we did find a toy for Adam's stocking and Abby got a candied apple cover. What's it covered ah. in? Caramel and marshmallow and chocolate and pecans. So yeah. Not a simple thing. <laughs>